What's up, you guys? This is Divine Messenger 33, where I get messages from the Divine and I give them straight to you guys. So clearing out any energy that will not benefit this message. Holy Spirit, Archangel Michael, my ancestors, my spirit guides of my highest good, please come in and protect me as I channel the current energies. Ancestors of my highest good, please give me clear and accurate messages. Clear and accurate messages. Welcome all my supporters. I appreciate you guys for liking and commenting and subscribing to the channel. I appreciate all of the love, the support, the donations, the bookings, the emails, all of the positivity that you guys show. I appreciate you. And all the services that I provide will be down below in the description box. All right. All right, Divine Feminine, we're going to see what's going on with you for this week. Okay. What is going on with Divine Feminine? All right. Feminine. All right, Divine Feminine, what's going on? All right, you are very close to achieving your goal. All right, Divine wants you to know and let yourself be loved. Okay, so a lot of you guys, some of you guys could be closing off to love. <laughs> a time to give rather than take. All right, in a situation and take care of your needs. Okay, in a situation. So you are very close to achieving your goal, but for some of you guys, you could be like focused on work. You're not really uh, focusing on love. For some of you guys, your partner could feel neglected. Okay, if you have a partner, they feel neglected. They feel like you're doing too much working. <laughs> all right, they want you to love on them and shit. All right, that's what I'm hearing. All right, that's what I'm getting. Yeah, and then we have here, bottom of the deck, a new romantic cycle is beginning at this time with the moon and Libra. So let's get into y'all energy for this week. Divine Feminine, let's see what's going on with y'all. Divine Feminine. Divine Feminine. Cleanse cards. Divine Feminine. All right. So victory and success is in reverse. We have patient and planning. Rejoice and celebration. All right, so it's going to be something about a victory that's not going to be successful. I mean, something is not going to be successful. Somebody going to think they have gotten a victory and it's not going to be successful. All right. We have firm foundations. So some good things could be happening uh, with a family situation. Obstacles and challenges was like this. So for some of you guys, you could be coming out of a like tough situations and you could be you know making future plans or that's what's going to be happening this week all right temptation all right and then we have balance at the bottom of the deck so divine is letting you know that all in all everything will be balanced out all right everything will be balanced out i feel like it's going to be something this week that you're going to realize that's temptation and it's not going to be a victory and i feel like you're going to be guided to turn away from it okay some of you guys could be having um some kind of going to some kind of party this week uh i'm hearing something about a grand opening some about a property is going to be a celebration as well okay but let's get into this um let's clarify a little bit spirit all right, rejoice and celebration for Divine Feminine. 
Rejoice in celebration and foundation and achievements. All right, Emperor. Okay, so this could have something to do with boss moves because Emperor is a boss, a CEO, um, different things like that. Okay, for some of y'all, you're going to have an um, emperor that's going to try to holler at you at this party or this get-together or whatever. Okay, there's an emperor that's going to try to holler at you. All right, for some of y'all, it's a new per it's a person that want to come back. And they want to go straight into proposing to you, okay? That's what I'm hearing. Okay, so that's that energy. Patience and planning, obstacles and challenges for Divine Feminine. All right, so we have the Devil, Four of Pentacles, and Three of Pentacles. All right, so what I'm getting is you could be coming out of a situation. Um, it was toxic, all right? A toxic situation that really had a strong hold on you, okay? It could have been a lot of people, a lot of people involved in this situation i feel like this week you're gonna have some kind of victory all right in a situation all right so you're gonna have um a big victory when it came to a situation that was like real toxic it had a hold on you all right for some of y'all it could have really put you in some obstacles and challenges and stuff like that but i feel like um now you could be like really coming out of it and having some kind of victory and you could be like patient you could be planning some things you know in a situation i feel like if you are in between about a lover situation for some of y'all you just gonna stay single in a situation because for some of y'all like the relationship could just be too much for y'all right now and you could be just really focusing on work for some of y'all the the single divine feminines Okay, and for the ones that's married or in a relationship, your person feel like they want to spend more time with you. Okay, they don't feel like they spend enough time with you. All right, they feel like y'all do too much is what I'm hearing. They feel like y'all do too much working. Victory and success in reverse and temptation for divine feminine. They feel like y'all work too much. Moon card, yeah. It's some things that's going to be hidden divine feminine it's some things that's gonna be hid in here let's see yep i feel like something is gonna hurt you here yeah something is gonna hurt you here yep judgment what else spirit about this energy yeah, I feel like it's something that you've been enlightened about, something that you've been thinking about, something about your past or something like that. This could have something to do with a person or not. I feel like you're going to realize that um, this is not going to be a victory. So if you was in between about a person in your past, divine is saying that this person is not a victory with this person. It's not. Okay, is what I'm hearing. Okay. Some about a past person that this person could have really broke your heart okay in a situation yeah i feel like this new love ain't gonna be lying ace of cups and seven of swords in reverse this new love is not gonna be on no bullshit okay i feel like y'all you gonna possibly meet this person at a party or a get together i'm hearing something about that all right and this person gonna be like fired up about your ass too is what i'm hearing they're going to be really fired up about you, Divine Feminine. For real. And this is like an emperor. So this is a boss, man. This this person ain't no... If with the emperor in the upright, this not no bullshitter. Okay? With the emperor in the upright. Okay? It's not the emperor in reverse. So like a real emperor. Okay? This person may be older than some of y'all too. Okay? I've seen like, you know, this person being older. All right? Balance for divine feminine yeah and i feel like it's gonna be an equal give and take all right six of pentacles balance for divine feminine yep 
ten of swords in reverse. I feel like I feel like you over all the bullshit now. And I feel like, yeah, eight of cups. You leaving it all behind, Divine Feminine. You just and that's why you so balanced. All right. I feel like whatever you waiting on is coming. It could have something to do with your foundation or something you building up, a platform or something like that. I feel like it's coming. I feel like you bring in a lot of tower moments when it comes to people's uh, life here because I feel like your creative energy is like, it's breaking people's hearts and shit. Your creativity. Yeah, because I feel like you really are the light. You are enlightening people with your messages and, and things that you do, okay, with people. All right? And I feel like it causes people to be able to move forward and make you know, decent decisions, Divine Feminine. All right, you could really help people, okay? All right, something to do with a Capricorn, Virgo, Pisces, Scorpio. All right, we got strong Capricorn energy, Libra, Gemini, okay? So yeah, Divine Feminine, that's good energy right there i don't think that was too bad what y'all think i don't think that was bad y'all all right divine feminine divine feminine divine feminine all right fear is what's making you question something so it's something that you may be questioning. Divine is saying you just, it's fear, okay? It's fear that's making you question something. Could be about a new love that you in between about, but Divine is saying that you always have a choice, okay, in a situation. But, yeah. Some of y'all, um, <clears throat> excuse me, y'all. Some of y'all with this new love, I feel like it's really going to help heal another part of you is what I'm hearing. Yeah, because it's going to be a lot of like emotion and compassion and all that stuff. Okay, so I really feel like y'all have a connection coming in that's going to be very healing. Or if you already in a connection, I feel like it's going to go to another level of healing, you know, and the connection. All right. You guys are going to go through another level of healing, okay? You may have, like, a really deep conversation that may really, like, bring out a lot of emotion and, you know, like, a lot of closure to a lot of shit, Divine Feminine, with your person, if you have one, okay? So, it's going to be, like, y'all going to become even closer, you know, it may be a conversation that may take place or something just out the blue. You may not even plan this conversation, but it just may happen. Okay? And it may just... You may express a lot of emotion and stuff like that. And it really may help you close something, you know, in your life. Or help you realize something, you know, in your life here, Divine Feminine. Yeah, that's good energy there, Divine Feminine ancestors ancestors for divine feminine for this week divine feminine uh oh alright so what was about to fall on the ground was whole self health so something about the way you're eating and honor the deities around you so if you you know, you're into deities and stuff like that. Divine is saying, you know, you, you're needing to get, you know, give them some offerings and stuff like that. Okay, if you work with deities and stuff like that. And Divine wants you to respect your physical body. Detoxing, rejuvenating yourself, relaxing, okay? Because like I said, some of y'all that have partners, your partner is like, damn, like, you do so much work and like, damn, like, I don't even, every time I look up, you on a computer. Or every time I look up, you, you got to leave or go out of town or whatever. You know, some of y'all divine feminines, y'all be, you know what I'm saying? 
and your partner is like, what's up? <laughs> for some of y'all, I'm hearing like, what is up? Like, for real. Okay. Like, dang, baby, can we, like, go out for a drink? Can we, like, can we go, like, I mean, what, can we go do something? Can we go bowling? Can we go, like, can we do something? Can we go on a trip together? Like, <laughs> and the Divine Feminine is like, nope, I'm about that, that paper. <laughs> Freckles. So someone can have dark hair and freckles. But definitely, y'all, your partner is like, what's up now? We have braces or someone that used to have braces. Someone could wear their natural hair. All right, so we have dancer and short curly hair. Somebody could have high cheekbones. Someone could love colorful socks. Someone could love dark liquor. And we have engaged. So somebody could be getting engaged this week. Okay. Somebody gonna be getting engaged this week. Doctor. Virgo. Somebody could have a tongue piercing and love sports. Somebody could sing. Long eyelashes. We have construction worker. All right. Divine feminine. So we have Leo to be significant. We have Pisces. All right, something with Taurus as well. Something with Cancer. Something with Virgo. Something with Aries. Something with Dennis. Six, something with Gemini. You got Aquarius. All right. So something about the dentist. Someone could need to um, make a dentist appointment or somebody. Something about a dentist appointment this week. Something with Ken Kennedy. Dan Dennis. Um, something with G-E-N. Something with someone's G-E-D. G-E-D. Something with Eddie, Edward. Okay. All right, so let me cut. We got a lot of numbers in here. Let's cut these numbers out. So let's see. All right, so Virgo, something with nine. Somebody can have a nine-year-old. Five, we have Taurus. All right, Aquarius. Gemini. And Aries. So we have 25, 24, 29, 26, 52, 54, 59, 56, 45, 42, 49, 46, 96, 94, 95, 92, 69, 64, 65, 62. All right. All right. Anything else, Spirit? All right, you guys, I'm going to leave it there. I really hope this helped you of some sort. Like, comment, and subscribe. Look in the description box below for all the services that I provide. And with that, you guys, peace 
and love.